Sodium, sodium, is a chemical element with symbol Na and atomic number 11. It is a soft, silver-white, highly reactive metal. In the periodic table it is in column 1, and shares with the other six elements in that column that it has a single electron in its outer shell, which it readily donates, creating a positively charged atom, a cation. Its only stable isotope is 23 Na. The free metal does not occur in nature, but instead must be prepared from its compounds. Sodium is the sixth most abundant element in the Earth's crust, and exists in numerous minerals such as feldspars, sodalite and rock salt. Many salts of sodium are highly water-soluble. Sodium ions have been leached by the action of water from the Earth's minerals over eons, so that sodium are the most common dissolved elements by weight in the oceans. Sodium was first isolated by Humphrey Davy in 1807 by the electrolysis of sodium hydroxide. Many sodium compounds are useful, such as sodium hydroxide for soap making and sodium chloride for use as a de-icing agent and a nutrient. Sodium is an essential element for all animals and implants. Sodium ions are the major cation in the extracellular fluid and as such are the major contributor to the ECF osmotic pressure, and thus ECF compartment volume. Loss of only water from the ECF compartment increases the sodium concentration. Hyponatremia, isotonic loss of water and sodium from the ECF compartment decreases the size of that compartment. ECF hypovolemia. Sodium ions are pumped out of cells by Na plus K plus at pace in exchange for potassium. It pumps three sodium ions out of the cell for every two potassium ions pumped in, contributing to the fact that about 40 times as much potassium is inside cells compared to outside, and about 10 times as much sodium is outside cells compared to inside, in nerve cells. A buildup of electrical charge across the cell membrane allows transmission of a nerve impulse, an action potential, when the charge is dissipated. Characteristics Physical sodium at standard temperature and pressure is a soft silvery metal that oxidizes to grayish-white unless immersed in oil or inert gas. Sodium can be readily cut with a knife and is a good conductor of electricity and heat. These properties change dramatically at elevated pressures. At 1.5 megabars, the color changes from silvery metallic to black. At 1.9 megabars, the material becomes transparent with a red color. And at 3 megabars, sodium is a clear and transparent solid. All of these high-pressure allotropes are insulators and electrides. When sodium or its compounds are introduced into a flame, they turn it yellow because the excited 3s electrons of sodium emit a photon when they fall from 3p to 3s. The wavelength of this photon corresponds to the d-line at 589.3 nanometers. Spin-orbit interactions involving the electron in the 3p orbital split the d-line into two hyperfine structures involving both orbitals cause many more lines. Chemical when freshly cut, sodium has a bright, silvery luster. If exposed to air, the surface rapidly tarnishes, darkening at first and then forming a white coating of sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate. Sodium is generally less reactive than potassium and more reactive than lithium. Like all the alkali metals, it reacts exothermically with water to the point that sufficiently large pieces melt to a sphere and may explode. This reaction produces caustic soda and flammable hydrogen gas. When burned in dry air, it mainly forms sodium peroxide as well as some sodium oxide. In moist air, sodium hydroxide results. Sodium metal is highly reducing, with the reduction of sodium ions requiring minus 2.71 volts. Hence, the extraction of sodium metal from its compounds uses a significant amount of energy. However, potassium and lithium have even more negative potentials. Isotopes 20 isotopes of sodium are known, but only 23 Na are stable. Two radioactive, cosmogenic isotopes are the byproduct of cosmic ray spallation. 
22 Na with a half-life of 2.6 years and 24 Na with a half-life of 15 hours, all other isotopes have a half-life of less than one minute. Two nuclear isomers have been discovered, the longer-lived one being 24 MNA with a half-life of around 20.2 microseconds. Acute neutron radiation, such as from a nuclear criticality accident, converts some of the stable 23 Na in human blood to 24 Na. By measuring the concentration of 24 Na in relation to 23 Na, the neutron radiation dosage of the victim can be calculated. A current 23 Na is created in the carbon burning process in stars by fusing two carbon atoms together. This requires temperatures above 600 megakelvins and a star of at least three solar masses. The Earth's crust contains 2.6% sodium by weight, making it the sixth most abundant element on Earth. Sodium's estimated crustal abundance is 2.36 times 104 mg per kilogram. Sodium's estimated oceanic abundance is 1.08 times 104 mg per liter. Because of its high reactivity, it is never found as a pure element. It is found in many different minerals, some very soluble, such as halite and natron, others much less soluble, such as amphibole and zeolite. The insolubility of certain sodium minerals such as cryolite and feldspar arises from their polymeric anions, which in the case of feldspar is a polysilicate. In the interstellar medium, sodium is identified by the D spectral line, though it has a high vaporization temperature. Its abundance allowed it to be detected by Mariner 10 in Mercury's atmosphere. Sodium has been detected in at least one comet. Astronomers watching comet Hale-Bopp in 1997 observed a sodium tail, which consisted of neutral atoms and extended to some 50 million kilometers in length. Compounds. See also. Category. Sodium compounds. Sodium compounds are of immense commercial importance, being particularly central to industries producing glass, paper, soap, and textiles. The sodium compounds that are the most important include table salt, soda ash, baking soda, caustic soda, sodium nitrate, trisodium phosphates, sodium thiosulfate, and borax. In its compounds, sodium is usually ionically bonded to water and anions, and is viewed as a hard Lewis acid. Most soaps are sodium salts of fatty acids. Sodium soaps are harder soaps than potassium soaps. Sodium chloride is extensively used for anti-icing and de-icing and as a preservative. Sodium bicarbonate is mainly used for cooking, along with potassium. Many important medicines have sodium added to improve their bioavailability, although in most cases potassium is the better ion. Sodium is selected for its lower price and atomic weight. Sodium hydride is used as a base for various reactions in organic chemistry, and as a reducing agent in inorganic chemistry. Aqueous solutions sodium tends to form water-soluble compounds, such as halides, sulfates, nitrates, carboxylates and carbonates. The main aqueous species are the acrocomplexes, NAN, plus, where N equals 4 to 6. The high affinity of sodium for oxygen-based ligands is the basis of crown ethers, macrolide antibiotics, which interfere with Na plus transport in the infecting organism, a functionally related and more complex. Direct precipitation of sodium salts from aqueous solutions is rare because sodium salts typically have a high affinity for water, an exception is sodium bismuthate. Because of this, sodium salts are usually isolated as solids by evaporation or by precipitation with an organic solvent, such as ethanol. For example, only 0.35 grams L of sodium chloride will dissolve in ethanol. Crown ethers, like 15 crown 5, may be used as a phase transfer catalyst. 
Sodium content in bulk may be determined by treating with a large excess of urinal zinc acetate. The hexahydrate 2ZNNA6H2O precipitates and can be weighed. Cesium and rubidium do not interfere with this reaction, but potassium and lithium do. Lower concentrations of sodium may be determined by atomic absorption spectrophotometry or by potentiometry using ion-selective electrodes. Electrides and sodides like the other alkali metals. Sodium dissolves in ammonia and some amines to give deeply colored solutions. Evaporation of these solutions leaves a shiny film of metallic sodium. The solutions contain the coordination complex 6 plus, whose positive charge is counterbalanced by electrons as anions. Kryptans permit the isolation of these complexes as crystalline solids. Kryptans, like chromethers and other ionophores, have a high affinity for the sodium ions. Derivatives of the alkali Na- are obtainable by the addition of kryptans to solutions of sodium in ammonia via disproportionation. Organosodium compounds Many organosodium compounds have been prepared. Because of the high polarity of the CNR bonds, they behave like sources of carbanions. Some well-known derivatives include sodium cyclopene to dienide and trital sodium 3 CNA. History Salt has been an important commodity in human activities, as shown by the English word salary, which derives from cellarium, the wafers of salt sometimes given to Roman soldiers along with their other wages. In medieval Europe, a compound of sodium with the Latin name of sodonym was used as a headache remedy. The name sodium is thought to originate from the Arabic suda, meaning headache, as the headache alleviating properties of sodium carbonate or soda were well known in early times. The chemical abbreviation for sodium was first published by John Jacob Byzelius in his System of Atomic Symbols, and is a contraction of the element's new Latin name natrium, which refers to the Egyptian natrin. A natural mineral salt primarily made of hydrated sodium carbonate. Natron historically had several important industrial and household uses, later eclipsed by other sodium compounds. Although sodium, sometimes called soda, had long been recognized in compounds, the metal itself was not isolated until 1807 by Sir Humphrey Davy through the electrolysis of sodium hydroxide. Sodium imparts an intense yellow color to flames. As early as 1860, Kirchhoff and Bunsen noted the high sensitivity of a sodium flame test, and stated in Annalen der Physik und Chemie, in a corner of our 60 cubic meters room farthest away from the apparatus we exploded 3 milligrams of sodium chlorate with milk sugar while observing the non-luminous flame before the slit. After a while, it glowed a bright yellow and showed a strong sodium line that disappeared only after 10 minutes. From the weight of the sodium salt and the volume of air in the room, we easily calculate that one part by weight of air could not contain more than one twentieth millionth weight of sodium. Commercial Production Enjoying rather specialized applications, only about 100,000 tons of metallic sodium are produced annually. Metallic sodium was first produced commercially in 1855 by carbothermal reduction of sodium carbonate at 1,100 degrees Celsius, in what is known as the Deville process. Na 2 co 3 plus 2 c 2 Na plus 3 coa related process based on the reduction of sodium hydroxide was developed in 1886. Sodium is now produced commercially through the electrolysis of molten sodium chloride, based on a process patented in 1924. This is done in a down cell in which the NaCl is mixed with calcium chloride to lower the melting point below 700 degrees Celsius. As calcium is less electropositive than sodium, no calcium will be deposited at the cathode. This method is less expensive than the previous Karsner process of electrolyzing sodium hydroxide. Reagent grades sodium in ton quantities sold for about $3.30 per kilogram in 2009. Lower purity metal sells for considerably less. 
The market for sodium is volatile due to the difficulty in its storage and shipping. It must be stored under a dry inert gas atmosphere or anhydrous mineral oil to prevent the formation of a surface layer of sodium oxide or sodium superoxide. These oxides can react violently in the presence of organic materials. Smaller quantities of sodium cost far more, in the range of $165 per kilogram. The high cost is partially due to the expense of shipping hazardous material. Applications Though metallic sodium has some important uses, the major applications of sodium use is in its many compounds, millions of tons of the chloride, hydroxide, and carbonate are produced annually. Free element metallic sodium is mainly used for the production of sodium borohydride, sodium azide, indigo, and triphenylphosphine. Previous uses were for the making of tetraethylid and titanium metal, because applications for these chemicals were discontinued. The production of sodium declined after 1970. Sodium is also used as an alloying metal, an anti-scaling agent, and as a reducing agent for metals when other materials are ineffective. Note the free element is not used as a scaling agent. Ions in the water are exchanged for sodium ions. Sodium vapor lamps are often used for street lighting in cities and give colors ranging from yellow-orange to peach as the pressure increases. By itself or with potassium, sodium is a desiccant. It gives an intense blue coloration with benzophenin when the desiccate is dry. In organic synthesis, sodium is used in various reactions such as the Birch reduction, and the sodium fusion test is conducted to qualitatively analyze compounds. Lasers emitting light at the D-line, utilizing sodium, are used to create artificial laser guide stars that assist in the adaptive optics for land-based visible light telescopes. Heat transfer liquid sodium is used as a heat transfer fluid in some fast reactors. Due to its high thermal conductivity and low neutron absorption cross-section, which is required to achieve a high neutron flux, the high boiling point allows the reactor to operate at ambient pressure. Drawbacks of using sodium include its opacity, which hinders visual maintenance, and its explosive properties. Radioactive sodium-24 may be formed by neutron activation during operation. Posing a slight radiation hazard, the radioactivity stops within a few days after removal from the reactor. If a reactor needs to be frequently shut down, NAK is used, due to it being liquid at room temperature. Cooling pipes do not freeze. In this case, the pyrophoricity of potassium means extra precautions against leaks need to be taken. Another heat transfer application is in high-performance internal combustion engines with poppet valves, where valve stems partially filled with sodium are used as a heat pipe to cool the valves. Biological role In humans, sodium is an essential nutrient that regulates blood volume, blood pressure, osmotic equilibrium and pH. The minimum physiological requirement for sodium is 500 mg per day. Sodium chloride is the principal source of sodium in the diet, and is used as seasoning and preservative, such as for pickling and jerky. Most of it comes from processed foods. The L for sodium is 2.3 grams per day, the threshold which could lead to hypertension when exceeded. But on average people in the United States consume 3.4 grams per day. Hypertension causes 7.6 million premature deaths worldwide each year. The renin-angiotensin system regulates the amount of fluids and sodium in the body. Reduction of blood pressure and sodium concentration in the kidney result in the production of renin, which in turn produces aldosterone and angiotensin, retaining sodium in the urine. Because of the increase in sodium concentration, the production of renin decreases, and the sodium concentration returns to normal. Sodium is also important in neuron function and osmoregulation between cells and the extracellular fluid. Their distribution mediated in all animals by Na plus, K plus at pace, an active transporter pumping ions against the gradient, and sodium, potassium channels.
Sodium is the most prominent metal ion in extracellular fluid. Unusually low or high sodium levels in humans are recognized in medicine as hypernatremia and hyponatremia. These conditions may be caused by genetic factors, physical factors associated with aging or illnesses involving vomiting or diarrhea. In C4 plants, sodium is a micronutrient that aids in metabolism, specifically in regeneration of phosphenol pyruvate and synthesis of chlorophyll. In others, it substitutes for potassium in several roles, such as maintaining turgor pressure and aiding in the opening and closing of stomata. Excess sodium in the soil limits the uptake of water due to decreased water potential which may result in wilting. Similar concentrations in the cytoplasm can lead to enzyme inhibition, which in turn causes necrosis and chlorosis. To avoid these problems, plants develop mechanisms that limit sodium uptake by roots, store them in cell vacuoles, and control them over long distances. Excess sodium may also be stored in old plant tissue, limiting the damage to new growth. Precautions Care is required in handling elemental sodium, as it generates flammable hydrogen and caustic sodium hydroxide upon contact with water. Powdered sodium may spontaneously explode in the presence of an oxidizer. Excess sodium can be safely removed by hydrolysis in a ventilated cabinet. This is typically done by sequential treatment with isopropanol, ethanol and water. Isopropanol reacts very slowly, generating the corresponding alkoxide and hydrogen. Fire extinguishers based on water accelerate sodium fires. Those based on carbon dioxide and bromochloridae fluoromethane lose their effectiveness when they dissipate. An effective extinguishing agent is MET-LX, which comprises approximately 5% saranin sodium chloride together with flow agents. It is most commonly hand-applied with a scoop. Other materials include Lith Plus, which has graphite powder and an organophosphate flame retardant, and dry sand.